Hello. I pray that you're well today. We begin a new weekly series on, do you have the mind of Christ? Do you have the mind of Christ on that matter? That's a powerful sentence to me. Do you have the mind of Christ? In, in, second, in Philippians chapter 2, I should say, verse 5, have this mind among you, which was also in Christ Jesus. To have the mind of Christ. Have this attitude. What's your attitude? Has your attitude ever impacted an outcome? Has your attitude ever stolen away from you the joy that God gave you? Has your attitude ever infected other people with a bad attitude? Bad attitudes sometimes can be contagious. Have the attitude which was among you, which is also in Christ Jesus. This is from a book by Wayne Cadero. And he's a, a pastor in Hawaii. But uh, allow me to consider these scriptures. The scripture, as it says, the language specifically is in Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. So choose life in order that you may live. Deuteronomy 30, verse 19. Choose life. We choose words of life. We choose actions of life. We choose the attitude of life. You know, one of my favorite pastors, when I was a child, I listened to uh, Charles Swindoll on the radio when I was a teenager. And he uses the language that 90% of life is your attitude. 10% is what happens to you. 90% is what you do with it. And so I often think about that, that ultimately can we choose life? We choose to have the attitude of Jesus Christ. He, he Wayne Cadero, uses this image in this situation. Suddenly through a fog, a captain noticed that it appeared to be a light of another ship directly in its path. Fog had shrouded everything. Quickly, he grabbed the megaphone and shouted, This is Admiral Smith of the United States Navy. Steer, your, steer yourself 10 degrees south. We're on a collision course, and I'm coming through with priority orders. Through the fog, he heard a faint but audible reply. This is Seaman 4th Class Jones. You steer yourself 10 degrees to the north. The Admiral said to himself, This guy's a Seaman 4th Class, and I'm an Admiral? What in the world does he think he's doing? He turned up the megaphone a few notches using a stronger tone of authority. He barked, this is Admiral Smith of the United States Navy. Steer your vessel 10 degrees south. I am coming through. Through the fog, the same reply. This, this is Seaman 4th Class Jones. Steer yourself 10 degrees north. The Admiral's anger flared at the young man's insubordination. I, said this is Admiral Smith, steer yourself 10 degrees south immediately. I am a battleship. To the fog, an unwavering voice replied, This is Seaman 4th Class Jones. Steer yourself 10 degrees north. I am a lighthouse. Our attitudes, he writes, are like the rudders of a ship. Have your attitude ever brought you because of pride in waters that you didn't really want to be? Have this mind among you which was also in Christ Jesus. Choose life. Choose words of life. Choose attitudes of life. Choose attitudes that, that build up. How are you thinking about things today? What are the most significant things in your life right now? And is your mind, is your thought about it the way Jesus would have you think about it? It's a powerful statement to me personally. Am I thinking about this the way Jesus wants me to think about it? Let's pray about that. Dear God, allow us to think about our lives in the way you want us to think about them. Allow us to think about our challenges. Allow us to think about our people in our life, our, our, our circumstances, our time, our future, the way you want us to think about it. May we truly have the mind of Christ, your attitude. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray that God bless you today, that he truly would give you the thoughts and as the scripture says, that we would take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. And we don't just let it roll around in our mind.
but we think about what we're thinking about and why we think that way. May God bless you today. May we, by God's power, have the mind of Christ. God's grace.